The Echelon 1 trial was a comparison of standard ABDD chemotherapy with AVD chemotherapy, bleomycin omitted and replaced with brentuximab vidotin. As everybody knows, that's a CD30 directed antibody drug conjugate. This is a study that was started uh, almost 10 years ago, um, but the data has now matured over time. Originally showed that there was what we call a modified progression-free survival advantage, subsequently a progression-free survival advantage to the experimental arm, so that's the brentuximab AVD chemotherapy, but now an overall survival advantage for patients uh, receiving the experimental treatment with brentuximab vidotin and AVD chemotherapy. So we have to say that's not experimental anymore, that is now standard of care, and that has really been the exciting thing, that it can move from uh, treatment that we used in second and third line now to ready frontline treatment. And I think the thing that's quite remarkable is that what you do in frontline clearly matters because it makes an impact for the survival of Hodgkin lymphoma patients overall. You know, I think uh, our strategies to date have really been how can we optimize ABVD? And that's been, can we give less of it, especially if patients are doing well? And that's what the raffle trial tested. Then there've been other strategies to say, can we intensify therapy? And that's what Escalator Biocop has looked at. But the notable thing is no overall survival was clearly shown in either of those strategies. This is now a strategy where adding a targeted agent to the AVD chemotherapy results in an overall survival advantage. So the reason I think that really matters is that has really become a preferred standard of care uh, for treatment of patients with classical Hodgkin lymphoma, especially advanced stage patients. And now that's being tested against other up and coming regimens, notably PD-1 antibodies in combination with AVD chemotherapy.